Hello everyone, Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to make this mood board. Um, I actually have this template available for you guys in our Facebook group in the freebie folder, so if you want to head over, to head over there and grab this, the link will be down below. Um, as you can see, I've already added some of the images, so we're going to go ahead and finish off and fill in the last three. Um, I've saved these to my camera roll just to make it a little bit easier to grab them so I don't have to be looking around all over the place in my files for them. Uh, and these are actually, these actually come from unsplash.com. If you've never heard of it, it's a great stock photo site and all the photos are free. Um, so you just have to kind of look through them a little bit to find exactly what you're looking for, but it's well worth it. Um, what we want to do is have our images beneath our template. Um, and this is our template, so that way we can see exactly where our pictures are going to land. Now we'll select our template, we'll go to the selections tool, make sure that it's set to automatic, and we'll click on that center um, square there. Actually, I don't want it on that one. Let's switch it up to this one here. There we go. So we'll go back to our picture and click on it again so that our options show up and we'll hit mask and that'll completely crop the image and then just hit unselect and you're done with that one. Now let's go ahead and add another picture. Let's use this one. Okay and like as you can see since it's in the background um, you can see exactly where that picture is going to land and you can move it accordingly however you like. We'll go back to our template selection We'll select that square and mask. And there we go. And now we'll add the last picture. Back to photos. With this one. Go ahead and resize that. And let's rotate this horizontally here um, so that it fits better with our with the space that we have here. Um, and if it's not letting you put it exactly where you want, just go ahead and take off the magnetics, the magnetics so that um, it lets you move it a little bit better. And then put it back on so you don't change the proportions of your picture. So now that that's done, we'll go back to the first layer, which is our template. Hit selection, select that right there, and we'll mask. And it is all done. Now, to save this, you have a couple of options. You can save it with the template, so it'll have the black outline. Um, or you can hide your template, and as you can see, everything is nicely cropped. I prefer it this way because I'm also going to remove my background layer. That way, my planner page uh, shows through, whether you have a textured planner page or um, just a black planner it'll look great on any planner that you apply it to. So let's go ahead and save this. So we'll go to share PNG and this is the same way that you will save a sticker. Um, it's very simple and we'll go ahead and just save this to the camera roll so we can bring it into our planner and we're going to add it to this planner right here. Photos, go to my pictures and there it is. Now all you have to do is resize it. Okay, and maybe write something here or add a sticker. It's totally up to you. Don't mind my handwriting. It's not the best, but I try. And okay, let's go. Let's resize that just a little bit. Yeah, too much. And there we go. You have a lovely mood board for December. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, and please subscribe so that um, you'll be notified when there's more. Bye!